Hola YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a wheel addict. Welcome to Skate Talks number 21. Yes, 21. We made 20 of these before. Anyway, my guest today grew up in Manchester in the UK and maybe you didn't even knew about it. I didn't knew before, but his first sponsor was Rams. Remedies? Rams? Well, my guest today is Alex Bernstein. Alex, we're calling you. Hello there. Yo, what's up? How are you doing, Alex? What's up, man? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. And yourself? I'm good and I can listen to you really good. So we're ready to start cool, cool. this. I was trying to introduce you and I was just starting by saying that most of the people might not know what your first sponsor was and that was Remedies. Rams. When you started skating um, for them, they were already Rams, right? Or Remedies? Because... Yeah, um, I'm not sure actually. I think they might have still been Remedies. It was when I was like 17, 16 maybe. Nah, you, you're before... still young. You're still young. So that was 11 years ago. They only became Rams once they went UFS. But let's go to the beginning before going that way. Let's just... Okay. Why don't you just tell us how did you got into skating? And before you even say that, I'm going to need to say sorry in advance in case I interrupt you. It just I just can't stop myself sometimes. I'm sorry. No problem. I'll apologize in case I interrupt you too. <laughs> ah, you don't need to. <laughs> no, Jim, let's Jim, try not to good. fight. Let's try not to fight. <laughs> okay, go for all it. How did, you, how did you discover skating? Well, I've been skating since longer, as long as I can remember. Um, I always had like little, you know, like I had some Sonic the Hedgehog skates, and before that, I had the uh, Fisher Price ones that you put over your over your shoes. <laughs> uh, I just and I just used to skate around and like you know do this thing that I'd, I'd go dead fast and put my skate on the curb and. Uh, but yeah, then after that, I, wait, I, did, I did you used going, to grind with the? With the fisherman, sh with the with the Fisher Price shadows. <laughs> no, with the Fisher Price shadows, I was I was only just able to crawl up my friend's my friend's uh, front garden with them. But mm. then, when I when I started getting a bit more, a bit better, and I had the Sonic the Hedgehog skates, that's when I, I started. <laughs> so the started first grinds are on Sonic skates. Awesome. Uh, yeah, yeah, man, yeah, man. Argos, Argos, Sonic the Hedgehog. Could you trip the spin? Could you trip spin tops over with those? because <laughs> you're you the guy what, like that's... when i think of trispin tops i think of you and i think you can do them with every skate so yeah, but that's mm -hmm. a challenge i might have to give that a go sometime that would be cool <laughs> <laughs> but yeah and then um after after that it was the first the first skate park uh trip was when i was six years old uh so that was nearly 22 years ago uh, and that was my uncle my uncle damien he used to skateboard uh and i was like Oh, what you can go on the rollerblades too, oh, and you know, and, and he was like, "Yeah," and I was, "Oh, sound, let's go!" Like, and yeah, since then that was it, man. <laughs> that was it. And then, and then, you kept skating then, the whole time, or did, did you stop yeah, for a while? Basi no, basically after after that first trip to the skate park, that was me sold, um, and I just yeah, I didn't stop. Maybe I think when I was sixteen, seventeen, I got into a bit of trouble and I stopped for like six months. But that was that was minor, and you know that was just like you know that age of life, puberty. I think I was a late bloomer, and puberty came late. So I. <laughs> <laughs> when was well, it? Yeah. Wait, wait, was it? Was it when you found your first girlfriend, or was it when you find, it found when anything else in life? <laughs> Yeah, we'll say anything else. <laughs> <laughs> no, the girlfriend, the girlfriends came easy. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> it's them skates, man. Them Sonic the Hedgehog skates since day one. They, they couldn't. I couldn't get rid of them. <laughs> uh, do, you, do you still have them? Do you still have the Sonic skates? No, I, I wish I did. I think my mum probably put them on a car boot sale because. Because either I was naughty or she needed some money. <laughs> well, let's see no, what happens here. Know. Maybe if someone knows of any Sonic the Hedgehog, what what size are you? <laughs> I'm size eight now. Get me some Sonic the Hedgehog skates, yeah, please. So, and UK eight, would, the UK eight would be European forty two. So forty two exactly, yeah. Or U US nine. So. We're open to get the skates, so we want to see if you can steal true top. So, <laughs> and if if you get me some, I will I will definitely attempt that. I'll do it. <laughs> Can can some customized <coughs> skates also work for the challenge? Because we can just give you some other skates and and maybe paint them blue and something like that. Well, 
Yeah, yeah, we can just paint like Sonic the Hedgehog on the side, on the side of some on the side of some razors, man. That would be that would be good enough. <laughs> no, wait, wait. Last year you had some skates that could have had some Sonic the Hedgehog because the first time that you skated the shift or when people mm-hmm. first saw the shifts, basically they, a lot of people didn't even know that there were the shifts because you were using a technique that a lot of the car companies use. Basically, they put this weird vinyl that people can't really see the lines of the cars. <laughs> and you did that with the shifts, right? You paint them all over so people couldn't really see what skate were. Yeah, I did. Um, yeah, that was that was my decision to, to do. I basically, they were like the prototypes and I wanted to skate them. And uh, Andy, boss man, was like, no, you know, you know we, we can't show them anywhere. You know, you can only skate these in private. And I was like, well, what if I just paint them like I usually do with all my other skates? He was like, okay. So I showed him a picture and he was like, yeah, cool. Go ahead, skate him. <laughs> That's awesome so, because yeah. it's a, it's actually just like the car companies do it. You're hiding the lines. So for those of you testing new skates, if you want to skate them, just paint like with lots of weird just, paints on top. People won't really know what they're Yeah, like. just tag them up, get a white pen or a black pen and just go crazy. <laughs> But I even had, I even I went to Croatia to the Pannonian Challenge and the, even people that were looking at them close up were like, whoa, what are they? Are they? And I was just like, uh, I just they know, are. kept quiet. <laughs> yeah, no one, knew, they no one are. knew what they were. Yeah, they are. They are. They are. <laughs> so, yeah, my man. So, when I, so for people that don't know, before I start recording this, I usually call the guests and... I don't know everything about everyone. Basically, I don't know anything about most of the people that I call. So yeah. what I do is I call them, like I called you before. I usually ask them. Right. I usually ask you guys how old you are, for how long you've been skating. Try to make like a little intro, nothing too crazy. But you told me, and I already said in this podcast, that you skated for Rams. How did that happen? Were you just amazing since day one? Like, did was it? <laughs> I don't know, man, because the way you skate, it's awesome. Like... I guess everyone exactly. agrees with it. You have your own way of skating and you're loyal to that. But how did the Rams thing happen? Well, it was... Uh, the first thing was BHC, uh, my my good friend and, I guess, mentor, in a way, uh, Mark Treble. Uh, he hooked me up when I was 15 on BHC. And then from there, you know, I was I was a hungry kid. You know, I wanted to get out there. It was always my dream to be a, quote, pro skater, you know. Um, so I guess one time uh, Treble just I think he just offered me he's like you know how do you how do you like try to try Rems out and I was like well yeah let me try him so yeah I tried them for probably about a year or so um, and yeah that was it man it was it was basically through Treble because he was distributing and he was mm. I think he was the team manager for the UK at the time yeah, that's what I was going to ask because uh, I didn't know about it but it's funny because Niels also skates Rams, and he yeah. also skates BHC. So I don't know if 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 it has anything to do with it. But. Uh, I'm not, yeah, I don't think that I don't think that has I don't think that's connected in that in that sense. But um, maybe it was back then. But mm, I, I don't no, no, think no. we did we did one of these with Niels. I think he said that it was Kato after the Winter Clash, something like that. I'm not. No, yeah. it, no, no, it wasn't. It was Mirek from Eden Skate. He got he but, got the connection but, through there. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's it's funny because. It was also my first ever sponsor was, but back then my first sponsor was in 98 and it was Remedies. It was when I, I still didn't know, didn't knew back then if they were part of Out, which was the company from Toto. Or oh, it, yeah, yeah. That's when they first came out. I think it was a model from Out Skates. And then Kato moved to the US and he started Rams as, on his own. Not as a model right, yeah. from other brand, but as his own thing. But I think in the beginning was still called Remedies. Only when they came out UFS, they became Rams. They lost the last few words. <laughs> right, yeah, man. Yeah, And then man. how did you went from that to USD? Yeah, uh, yeah. I had um, I had the, the change. Um, I can't remember who. It was basically Lomax. Actually, it was Lomax and Ollie Bennett. Um, yeah, they again. I got an offer, and I was like, well. Okay, I mean, I liked the REMs for a while, you know, they were good. Had a bit of problems with them. Um, Did you felt them too feet. soft? Did you felt them like too soft or? Yeah, it was the open show ones, the OS. I, I had, it gave me a bit of, I don't know if it was too soft 
or whatever but it it just hurt hurt my left foot and uh i just was like right i need to change so so yeah anyway lomax tried to get me hooked up well he did get me hooked up with uh usd so i yeah i i, I put them on and i ended up skating them for a while yeah and then going on tour for the the show of force tour i um, always remember you skating the the dams the damn yellow ones the the Demetrius. yeah the demetrius man yeah Dem they were actually my favorite ones man you couldn't miss a grind because you couldn't you, you they were so bright underneath your feet you know? <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome i never thought about it maybe that's why josh is painting his skates glow and silver it But makes sense <laughs> <laughs> I never thought about it, but that's actually cool. Okay, yeah, maybe that's not, that's what I need not to miss grinds because I can't do like <laughs> a lot of the shit that you do. But that was one of my next questions, which is: yeah. I have this theory. I have this theory like if you can do like true top souls or true fish brains or true top porn stars the way that you do. Like usually, people that can bend their feet inside they can spin their feet inside you can put your toes all the way in you know like a, you know what i mean yeah yeah just like gonzo used to but people that do that they have a lot of difficulty to do negatives because to do negatives you need to do the exact same and then bend your knee forward can you do negative tricks i don't mean like ledge would you do like a negative trick down the rail um yeah it's a funny one that actually because I only really started doing or even playing with negative tricks like maybe two years ago. Mm -hmm. um, I've been skating for 22 years, so but yeah, I, you, you're right there. I do struggle a little bit with negative tricks. Um, ledge is a little bit easier, of but course, on rails, square. yeah, exactly, yeah. And but yeah, rails. I've never actually done a negative trick on a street rail, um, which. I really want to. I want to keep practicing. I need a play rail in my area so I can practice them. Okay, I'm going to give oh, you yeah. some advice. Spin your foot outside if you can, and then bend your yeah. feet, <laughs> bend your knee forward. It's, yeah, it's no. the way to do it. The thing is, I, done, I never saw I anyone have, like you like that does the true top side tricks the way you do doing negatives. Yeah. So that's why well, I was. That's it then. That's my next step in it. I've got to up my game there, man. <laughs> prove me <laughs> I'm no, wrong. Just to... prove me. Prove me I'm wrong. <laughs> I, I have done them on, on on park rails, but yeah, nothing on the street. So that's the next step. You can all call me out. Everyone can call me out on this and I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> What negative would that be? Oh, I don't know. A Mistral or a Macchio or a Sunny. sunny ah, day. come on. Mistral doesn't count. I'm sorry. Because that know, one. Do <laughs> you have the bike for switch food? on natural then? Nah, man. It nah, 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 nah. It doesn't count because that that's like, it's no, like the mystery. Like if you do a, we'll go there after. If you do an alley You're mystery. putting me on the spot, man. No, no. <laughs> it, it, it's just like, if you do like a, a Mac, a negative Mac, you can work or something like that. It's something that you really need to be on that foot. <laughs> All right, then. All right. Well, we'll do the negative Mac or the Sunny Day. No, then. I'm not. I'm, how can I put you on the spot? The type of stuff that you do, man. Like, you know what I'm All saying. Right. It's just. Yeah, maybe yeah. don't. No, it's a good challenge. <laughs> maybe like... don't just leave it. I'm just gonna fuck. <laughs> never, I'm never gonna do any negative tricks. No, I actually want to, so I will. I will put you to that, and you'll see it soon. <laughs> Perfect. You need to do them on the Sonic the Hedgehog skates. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's challenge number two. The <laughs> Please maximum give me some challenge. Sonic skates <laughs> with a millimeter of a negative grind space. Like. <laughs> no, yeah, and man. then I remember you skating with the USD skates. I remember. The first time I, I saw you skating the yellow skates, and every, I think I saw you skating the black skates with the yellow soul plates too before, but the first time that I ever saw you skate and you got me like, no way, was at, in Berlin, in the, yeah. in the Winter Clash in Berlin. And before that, the day before the Winter Clash, we went to... Um, to another park that they had and you were there at that park and i remember there was this guy just doing a little it was not that little like a disaster into a quarter pipe i don't know if you remember that skate park it was a skateboard park an indoor skateboard park that had like a bowl too yeah i kind of remember i i, I was sure a long time ago man. and there was like a little <laughs> gap that would come from a quarter pipe to another quarter pipe that was in the middle of the of the flat bank, something like, and you were doing just like true top horns, gap through top horn, gap through fish, but it, the way you were doing it is just, 
let's call <laughs> let's just say that it's not normal and i remember seeing that i was like no way and i was like yeah i know why usd that why this guy has usd skates or why is he getting free usd skates next thing next thing i remember you were skating razors and not too long as past since you got like a pro model how did the whole razors thing happen yeah that was a uh, it all did happen quite quick actually um well yeah as i said we got so i got hooked up by my usd nick and that hooked me up went on tour and then i mean i was always actually skating razors before i skated rems or anything okay um, i was skating genesis they were actually probably, I probably preferred them out of the lot um but yeah then i think again it was through through treble mark treble yeah um, i think he contacted uh wagner um and he just said you need to hook this guy up whatever blah blah you know sort him out he's you know you trust me basically, basically he's gonna be the point. next big thing <laughs> yeah and, and i guess you know andy andy wagner he, he trusted treble's words and uh Yeah, I, he actually rang me himself, and I was like, "What? What the fuck? You know, who's this? What? what? Like, you know, I was, I was <laughs> well surprised. I was blown away. And then I said to him, "Yeah, let me try the skates, you know, because I would never agree to something without, you know, trying it." Um, so I tried the skates, and I was like, "Yeah," and that was the SL as well. And I never skated the SL, and I was just like, "Yeah, that was it. So that's me." That's thank cool. you you know <laughs> yeah that's really that cool like i don't know if a lot of people do it but that's actually something that more and more people should do it i've seen that happening lately a little bit especially with roller skates because i'm working also with roller skates but it's people should actually ask to try the skates of course when you're good you can be good with everything that's that's the truth you can be good with everything like we were talking yeah, yeah. about you doing whatever you want with any other crappy skates doesn't matter But at the same time, you need to, Sonic if, you're going, <laughs> if you're going to be representing a brand, somehow you need to be happy with the product that you have. Otherwise, yeah, you're going to do it while you're in, the, in that hype to, to represent the yeah. brand. But after a while, if you don't really enjoy the skates, you're going to find ways. Yeah, fully. I mean, I know people that have, uh, I'm not going to name any names or whatever, but people who, you know, get super ahead of themselves, they'll get offered something and... They don't, you can tell like them skates aren't for them, you know, like take them off, put some of ones on. They, they may be better for another person, but for the person in hand, just fucking, they yeah, accept man. it too, you know, too soon. And it's like, you know, come on, you, you could do what better. <laughs> but, yeah, <laughs> yeah, so, but sometimes you just think. go with the hype. And it's not just about sponsored skaters, nothing to do with it. Like, I remember that was like um, a few years ago before I moved to South Africa. I was. I was not connected with Power Slide anymore, and then I got connected with them again. But I remember that I bought a pair of Velos, and it was never really my skate. And I'm not talking crap about a brand because they did it amazing, and a lot of people love those skates, but they were not my thing, you know? And I tried them, and the reason why I bought those skates, yeah. I guess I just went with the whole hype. And sometimes it just. Mm -hmm. You just go with it, and, and that's the thing. And I, I try the skates, and it's not my thing. But yeah, I, yeah. I always try. I'd, I'd, I would have tried a, a friend's skates on first or something, you know. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it's true. It's true. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm in love with the raises. Ra 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 and then tell me, and, and like we said, it. So you were like the third or the fourth SL Pro model because at first it was the, um, it was just the SL, right? Uh, yeah, and then they yeah. came with they came with I don't remember something with the gray with gray details I don't remember what skates were those. It was and it was the uh, the first one was uh, the that arrogant was twos. That was the first one, arrogant uh, twos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then was it Dom's? No, icons. Bambrick. Icons came first. Icons, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Dom Bambrick, and then and then if I'm not wrong, it was the SLs, the white ones, or it was. I don't know. I know that the Matthias Sillen came before yours, but then yours came not too late. It didn't I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure, you know. I think I can't. Do you know what? It's, it's all quite a bit of a blag to me. I've, you know, I'm, I, quite, I struggle quite remembering what, what comes where and everything. But yeah, it, was, it, it did happen quite quick. And I was, I was, quite, I was quite surprised, actually. Um, But again, yeah, I was in, I was actually in California when I got presented with the skate, and uh, he, Andy called me into his office, and he was like, 
I thought I was in trouble. I was like, whoa, what have I done? You know? And he just held up this skate and was like, what do you think? And I just like, went, whoa, like, Yo, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> give it, give me that. <laughs> But that seems like to be a thing too, like with with razors. It's like if you travel and if you meet anything, things seem to happen quicker. Yeah. You know what I'm what I mean? I'm not saying that you didn't deserve it or anything like that. I'm just saying like oh, no. if you get into the the razors family, it it's easier to happen because there's some skaters that were amazing, but they were never into that connection with Andy or but I guess that's normal with every other brand too I don't know yeah I mean yeah I guess it is like you said you just gotta get out there and do as much as you can and um, I, I guess a lot of it comes down to like just, just meeting new people as well networking you know just being friendly and yes you know being a positive influence in some I mean I used to be a bit a bit of a party head so I was probably I was a positive influence in that sense. <laughs> I was always talking shit to everyone, and so yeah, I guess it's um, it all com it's all all connects. All you know, man. It's yeah. being a sponsored skater changed a lot over the last few years. It, yeah. it the whole marketing thing is changing, and it's you know it. You, you, nowadays you work with that too, and we're going to talk about it in a second. But yeah. you know it. Like back in the day, you would need to be a really good skater which you still need to be now but back yeah. then that was enough you could be yeah. basically you could be a dick you could you could just hate on <laughs> every single kid you could be whatever you wanted because you would be you had the the level of skating to back you up but nowadays uh -uh, that's that's not what a brand wants it's it's sad sometimes yeah. because you'll see some guys like me <laughs> that's that they're not half as good as some of the pro skaters out there but I still work with brands and for some brand for some guys that's frustrating but if you think like on the brand side you need to see that basically you are a moving advertisement wanting or not I said this more than once Richie Asler yep. added written in his Instagram that he is a toil salesman and for a lot of people it's hard to understand but that's <laughs> that's what a pro skater is a skateboarder whatever it's a toy salesman we use toys and that's what you are wanting or not exactly man exactly i always say that to people as well they, they say you know i explain to like i say someone on the streets who's asking me about what i do and i say i'm just a rolling billboard <laughs> you know, I'm just a billboard it that's is. rolling down the street. Like, do you want to buy my skates? This is razors, you know. Hey. <laughs> it is the truth, like, man. Oh, yeah, it's sometimes okay. sad. Some people don't understand it, but it's the truth. And then it's like, would you buy the pair of skates from the guy that it's really good, but he's looking at you like if he wants to kill you, or buy the guy that yes, he needs to know how to do it, but he actually explains you about the product. He goes out and skates with you that's the type of people that people want to be surrounded by and they get influenced by that's why montre is so good <laughs> like I yeah don't know. he's yeah. amazing but then not just that i keep saying the same that guy is just amazing <laughs> yeah know. no i fully agree like yeah you yeah you like you say you you can't just be good at skating these days it's uh there's a lot of different aspects to it i mean yeah The, the multi the uh, social media side is definitely a big part of, I guess, what we're doing now. To uh, yeah, like rolling billboard, like <laughs> that's just, you know, you got like you got to promote yourself, you got to promote the brands, you got to. You can be you know, a rolling billboard yeah. at home now, huh? Yeah, exactly, a rolling billboard behind your computer or behind your phone. Right? You know, it's, uh, <laughs> it's it's it is interesting. It is definitely an interesting. Like uh, now, tell me for. For some people listening to this, they don't know. I never spoke with you about it, but Andy told me at the Winter Clash that you are now in charge of Ryan as doing like team management. What what other functions do you have with Ryan? Yeah, yeah, man. That basically, yeah, Andy just basically gave me the role of yeah Rain manager, which is quite. Is it brand manager? Is it team manager? Or well, I don't think there's actually a. A full-on label to it. He just basically asked me to to deal with it, and I'm like, yeah, okay. Manage the brand, basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically, I'm uh, I'm I'm basically just behind, you know, picking the team. Well, not not only me. It's it's a team effort, I'd say. But I'm just the the guy 
the face kind of thing. That's what Andy kind of wants me. He just wanted me to kind of take control of it a little bit. And uh, mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a funny one because um, because Josh is involved also. Um, Which is amazing. You know, uh, It's amazing. And I tried to make wait. one of these with Josh. And please, if he listens to this or if you speak with him, please tell him to get back to me. I've been trying to All contact right. him for so long. I really want to do one All of right. these with Josh. I'll message him. I'll message him. Josh, you need to do this. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, yeah, it's like, it's really good. Like, obviously, like, I grew, I grew up on, I mean, one of my favorite videos was Sell Your Soul to Roll. I, I've been skating a lot of time before that. And, uh, Josh, I've seen Josh's parts in other oh, loads of other things, and then Dude. when this came about, I get to speak to him, and I'm like, wow, you know, no, I'm still no, this little no, kid. No, no, I need, to, inter- I need to interrupt you right there. I know that yeah, you yeah. are a huge Wu Tang fan. If you yes. like Josh, and if you're a Wu Tang fan, have you seen VG7? Do you know what? I have. I but know I have. Make yourself a favor. Make yourself a favor and go watch Josh Petty section because he had the first ever section that someone actually skated fast like proper fast that was like seriously that was the real game changer like when that part came out he used to skate fast it was tech there was not a lot of people as tech as him and he had like he had his own style it was good like amazing and then i remember only very after a few years someone else came with something like skating that fast i would say like maybe louisa more if 14 i think that's it but yeah man. man that was amazing go make yourself a favorite and watch that and that's that's uh, one of the reasons why i also want to speak with him but now i'm talking to you and now my question related to that ryan thing is was that the reason why you made the ryan tattoo because someone asked us i don't know i think it was on facebook was asking about the tattoo. yeah yeah i've seen that so yeah basically yeah um I was kind of in charge of doing like the yeah the first marketing scheme and that um, not scheme sorry like marketing idea or you know advertisement. Um, we had a few ideas. Um, and I think it was Jeff Akers. He was like, "Have you got any more tattoos?" And I was like, <laughs> "Do you have space?" <laughs> and, I, and I yeah, have you got any more space to tattoo? And I was like, I literally uh, that day I was thinking about maybe I could get a rain tattoo. Maybe we could do something with that. And no no shit. Excuse my friend. <laughs> you know and um so yeah and i was like yeah i have got space let's let's try and do this and it was basically just for the advertisement but then again rain was always a big part of my childhood kind of you know i i'd always liked mm-hmm. that brand i like the symbol i've already got a big a big lion on my back so i was like why not add an eagle yeah, <laughs> no, it's, it's cool. like, it marks a a period of your life, you know? That's what I keep saying. Exactly. I, I don't have that many tattoos, but what I got, it means something to me. It needs like, even if you have like, <laughs> if you're like quite full, that means that you have a lot of periods that you want to <laughs> to remember forever. But you know what I mean? Like if yeah. you have a lot of tattoos, that any all of them might seem something to you, might mean something to you. So it's another one. No, exactly, exactly. And yeah, I like... I like the tattoo what I got done as well, so it's good. And I'm a, I'm a dick, I'm an ink, ink addict, so. It's <laughs> <laughs> And are you looking? Is, are you looking for rolling billboards for for yeah, rain? Yeah, I'm a rolling billboard, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm I'm, I'm looking like what are you looking for? What type of rolling billboards are you looking for, Ryan? Like, do you have any skaters in mind already? Do you have the full team done? Are you um, like halfway through? What are you looking for in the skater? So that if some people listen to these, if they're interested in, yeah, I don't know. Just um, well, well, well. I can't, I can't tell you too much about the whole <laughs> yeah, thing. Yeah, you know, you know that, you know that I do the rolling billboard part for my feet, which is um, we are, we are fighting right now. <laughs> Yeah, all right, all right. <laughs> this is the fight. So, no, this, this is, is me just trying to get your strategies, and once I get your strategies, okay. then I know what to do next. And you know, okay. just I'm studying the the opponent. Okay, well, well, what <laughs> I'm our kidding, plan man. Is, I don't, uh, I don't care. You know. Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what the the kind of plan is. Yeah, I'll give you a rough, a rough. Okay, don't review. tell me too much. <laughs> no, I'm not going to. If I did, I'd have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> no, like for we are playing around with this, but for anyone listening to this, basically, well, I, I guess we're both for the same. We might work for different brands 
completely different brands, different groups, whatever. Yeah. But the truth is we both want the same, which is the best for skating. We both want skating to grow. And in the end, we all here for the same. And that's why we're doing this interview. Like if I would be just pushing the brands that I work with, I would never do this. You know, it's just it's, yeah, exactly. it's not about yeah. it. It's about growing skating, because if I work with a brand, but if skating grows, even if I'm pushing other brand, Skating is winning. In the end, we all gonna get something out of it, which is skating will grow. So all now I'm gonna let you all. talk, and I'm gonna stop talking because I just can't stop. <laughs> I'm gonna put a cookie <laughs> in my good. mouth. I'm sorry. That's the only way. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. What was he talking about? We were saying about the uh, the rain. Anyway, yeah, we have we kind of have the whole team ready. We basically do. Um, but what, as you know, as you might know, as you might have seen. Obviously, I'm on the, on the team. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me. I've got to make sure I'm not saying anything I shouldn't know. And you do um, good torques, and let me tell you, you do some good frontside torques. <laughs> oh, that nice video one. was sick. Oh yeah, I had two torque sides. Yeah, I was debating whether to use both of them, and I ended up did. I was like, yes, I'll use one of them's rocky, one of them's normal. I'll use. It both. doesn't matter, man. You can do a full part just with true, true spin topsails, and I still watch it. Cause it's just, I might do that. I might do that in the Sonic Skates. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but you need to put a negative um, in it just as an ender. <laughs> oh, yeah. A negative true top song. If you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, you know what? You know what? I'd probably take that. I don't know. I'd have to like do some distortion of my ankles or some shit. Photoshop. But, um, anyway, yeah. So, yeah, Photoshop, man. I'll do the picture. Um, but anyway, yeah. So, as, and if, as you may know, Nils is on the team which mm -hmm. is booming one of the best in the world yeah, um know. and then it's wednesday today isn't it so tomorrow you'll see the next uh, i don't know when this this talk's gonna go live but um yeah it's gonna go live tomorrow on, so thursday yeah cool so, so yeah so, so today there'll be another release of another rider another introduction which you will see which i won't say anything now i know he and is then, german yes and it's freaking awesome Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe, maybe, ah, maybe come not. On. <laughs> you'll see, you'll see. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the German one is amazing. He watches a lot of TV, but he doesn't go on the channels that go on the second one. It just goes on the first and on the third channel. He's amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 I like that. That's clever, that, isn't it? You're clever. <laughs> okay, go. <laughs> No more, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I really like that. That was a good one. Okay. But I, you know, I think that a lot of people might know that already. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll keep that there. We'll keep that. <laughs> just a TV guy. It's just we just talk He's about a TV, TV guy. Yeah, yeah he, got, he needs to chill out. He's getting hypnotized by that TV man. He is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's an absolute beast. So wait until you see. The, the yeah the team what we've got so far of uh, the introductions they've all absolutely smashed it and especially the TV watcher as well, <laughs> the <TV laughs> well not, man. Not, not especially not especially all of them not especially, okay but all of them all man of them. you're a yeah, team yeah, manager you now you can't you can't say anyone is too good you need to you need to make them all happy <laughs> yeah okay. I know I've got to be careful what I say <laughs> <all right. Shit. laughs> I've never been in these this position really where I have to where I've got, I have secrets. Oh. I have secrets, I can't. <laughs> nah, I, I come can't, on. I feel it. <laughs> all right, anyone, I'll pay you, I'll, you can pay me, I'll tell you all the secrets. Yes, <laughs> the, you need to make a Patreon. You know what the Patreon yeah, is? Yeah, 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 because the, it's, yeah. The TV I'm, guy. Ah, oh, 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 I nearly fucking, oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, <excuse. laughs> This is hard, man. This, can we stop talking about Okay, it? let's talk about that. Let's go to something <laughs> no, else. No, uh, right. <laughs> my next question. After that, you were saying that you have someone present, like being presented the day that this is out. Do you have any other projects for any other products or anything like that? Coming um, out soon? Things that you can uh, talk, obviously. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, products. Because a lot of people keep Product. asking about the old Ryan Liner, the one that had the neoprene, the um, the tall yeah. one. Remember that one? Yeah. Well, with with Rain, there is a there is a lot of talk going on about you know different different molds and whatever new clothes and whatever. Um, 
But again, that one's that's a bit of a, a touchy one. Which um, there's no nothing's been set in stone yet. It's it's all. Um, Oops, excuse me. Hey, <laughs> cheers, guys. <laughs> that was just that was the best. That was, just, that was a smoothie that Laura made me. Thank you, Laura. It made me burp. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, there's um, there's bits and bobs being talked about. Um, but yeah, you you guys will see that. But aside that, with like filming and such, um, I've got a lot, lots of stuff going on at the moment. One of my friends is just is coming back from New Zealand, but we're in the middle. I was actually meant to make a wheel, a BHC wheel promo, but my friend who was filming went on holiday for a month, and he had got jobs, and so that's been postponed. So I'm thinking about just saving all the footage for like throughout the year. Is and that make for the mega. green wheel, or there's a new wheel? Yeah, out? yeah, for the green wheel that's been out for ages <laughs> <laughs> maybe keep uh, it so, man keep it for the next one coming out i'm just saying this in the marketing point of view that's what i'm thinking bro yeah, yeah, because yeah. that that makes sense to put out when there's a new product so that you create a hype around it unless yeah. just a marketing tip unless you guys producing like a second batch of those wheels if there's a lot more wheels coming out then you just woof, yeah. release it and then kind of do like a little boost that'd be a cool thing yeah to, I think people yeah, always I, want to do it, and but at the same time, the VOD just came out now. So if you're going to put something out right now, it won't have the same. Yeah. Boom. Well, yeah, I know what you mean, and that's what I was kind of thinking as well. You know, and, uh, and, unless you do it like me, you do videos every day, <laughs> and you don't really care about putting the best tricks out there. It's more about putting consistent content, and that's my next question. <laughs> You started okay. like a vlog and people were loving what you were doing. You were doing like once a week, you would upload something and used to be like a a weekly video. What happened there? Yeah, I was quite enjoying that as well. And I had some really good feedback, but um, it was just more immediate things that needed my attention in life, you know, and uh, it, it, it did. It did take up quite a lot of time. It does take up quite a lot of time to do them vlogs, and yeah, as you, yeah, as you know, and uh, at the time, you know, maybe if I carried on, maybe one day it could have earned me a little bit of income. But I, like I said, I had more immediate things to deal with, and needed to make some of my own money and whatever. And yeah, I just didn't have the the time, which is the typical thing. A lot of vloggers start and stop okay. because it's the time and. Uh, and but it's yeah, not just I'll, that. There's two things. I would say that when you start something like that, the first thing is, I'm not saying that was your reason, but a lot of people, especially out of skating, when they start something, they start by dreaming the money that comes from Google. I'm not saying that was the reason that you started no, something. No. Obviously, you skate and you, you, don't, you know that the, the people that will watch is not as much as if you be like a BMXer, like one of the best BMXers in the world. It's not the same. But what I'm trying to say is a lot of times that's, it's sometimes it kills your motivation because you spend as much time as you know that you did. And then instead of having like 300 or 400,000 views, you get like 200 views and you'd be like, oh, damn it, all this time for this. But at the same time, if you think about our world, our skate world, it's doing something for it. And obviously that would be the second tip. It's like the, th the second thing is the more you do it, the faster you become at it, which yeah. not just for the YouTube thing that you're doing or the vlogs or whatever, but it, you're going to end up taking advantage out of that, even for works, jobs, whatever that, that you'll find in the future, because you're going to become a better editor. You're going to become better with the camera. Yep. And that, that might bring you job opportunities in the future i'm not saying that you're looking for those but it's just like for people out there who wants to start something it's cool it's it's something good to it like if you start something if you do it consistently it doesn't need to be every day it could be like yeah. once a, a week once a month whatever if they do it consistently with time will grow i guess <laughs> yeah no no i fully agree I fully agree and it, yeah like it wasn't wasn't fully the income reason why I stopped. Actually, I did. Bo I borrowed um, the, the 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 GoPro off my friend Fraser Watson. Don't mm -hmm. know if you remember Fraser. Of course, I remember uh, Fraser. True top, true top, gap, true top porn on that San Diego. One, <laughs> one of the biggest, one of the best, one of the best. And I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I look up to him a lot, and uh, 
Well, yeah, he actually was the guy who got me into doing the vlogs because he was doing his vlogs and I was like, you know what, I need, I'll, this is inspiring me. If I could do that for other people, that would mm -hmm. be amazing, you know, and which, yeah, it seems that I did. Um, but maybe I will, maybe I will carry on doing it again. Man, but, you a know, lot of people, like, you know that a lot of, some of the most successful guys just use their phones, man. You can even just edit on, if you have an iPhone, you edit on iMovie and you can do something amazing because it, more important than the camera being amazing and the sound being amazing, more important than anything, it's that people can see your personality somehow, not just the skating, you know, just that's what's lacking a lot in a lot of skate pro videos. It's like the kids who watch it, they want to know a little bit more. It does, you don't need to show your life, man. You don't need to show your wife, your kids. It's more about your personality and that's what people want to see and they identify with it. That's why those big brothers and all those things end up being successful, you know? Because people yeah. want, want to get in other people's lives, which is, it might be a little bit weird, but you only show whatever you want, so. Uh, it's true, man. I mean, like, it makes you have a sense of, I guess, uh, not you're not being alone, you know? I mean, I, like I said, I got insp inspired off phrases and a lot of things he said on that is like, oh, you know, yeah, it inspired me, realize, you know, you're not alone. You, you, you're not, no one's perfect. And it's good to see Dude, that no even, one. even, the, even the, I mean, like, I'm just a lad from Stockport, Manchester, you know? So <laughs> people who, people who know me know that I'm not, you know, not perfect, but people who don't know me and see me as a quote pro skater, they might think, oh, he's a pro skater. I've had people tell me, oh, I thought you, <laughs> For example, one guy at um, Summer Class years ago, when I was a bit crazy then anyway, he was like, oh, I thought you was going to be like like Aragon, you know, all clean cut. And, <laughs> and, and, and then he looked at me and I was like, mate, I've got bean juice on my on my vest. And I, <laughs> <laughs> like, I was being a bit of a rugged a rugged kid, you know. And But it's true, like, you know, yeah, you're getting to see the personality and... Yeah. Maybe I'll start up again. I, I'm, yeah, it's, it's got me thinking. It's got me thinking. Yeah, man, it's like... The other, the, from what you're saying, not just your personality, but even the way you skate, it was cool. I remember the the ones you did. There was like sometimes you're playing games of it, and people also see you missing tricks because every, even Aragon miss miss the tricks or uh, Aaron Feinberg. Everyone does miss tricks. Yeah, for sure. It's part hey, mate, of it, I'm, and that's motivational, it, you know. That's yeah. It's yeah. We're not. No one's perfect, and we're all still learning forever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, before going to the next question, I'm going to ask you about Fraser Watson because I used to love that guy. I'm going to ask you about yeah, Fraser. Man. I used yeah, to man. love that guy so much. Like, basically, everyone that could do a true top porn, I used to love because I was never able to do them. So, right, right. <laughs> see, you're on the top of my list too. There's a few guys that see? can do them. Like, <laughs> but That's I remember that you were so good. But, like, last year, he was doing some posts on Facebook and he was just like, it, it seemed like he was so out of skating, not so out of skating, but against skating somehow. I'm, I'm, I don't want to bad mouth <laughs> anyone. You know what I'm saying? It's no, like, no. I, I'm not bad mouthing and I'm the first one to say I was a huge fan of him. Yeah. Man. But why do you think that happens? Do you, was he expecting something else from skating that never really happened? <clears throat> was something, was someone that, made him oh. understand something completely wrong. I don't know, man. I, I would love to see that guy still connected to skating. That's why I'm asking this. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know fully. I do speak to Fraser quite often. Um, he's, he lives in Manchester. He's been in there for years. So, um, But I think he just he just had enough. I think it was it may, it may have been taking his toll on his body. And you know how, how good he was. Like Amazing. He couldn't just go... He, and. I think Fraser's mentality is go big or uh, yeah. kind of go home. Yeah, if you're not and doing just, it, you'd rather not even do it. Yeah, and he's just like that. You know, he won't. He wouldn't go to a little ledge and, and try and have a chilled session. He'll want to smash that shit up, you know. And like, and I guess it, uh, from my angle, it might it might have been a little bit a few reasons maybe, but yeah, I think a lot of it was taking its toll and. He went through some different different directions in life, and now he's he's actually skateboarding now. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But that's yeah, the thing, yeah. like for someone that comes from inline skating, he doesn't want to play around with the with the tiny yeah. ledge. And now you go skateboarding, yeah, you go all to the beginning. But maybe that's challenging for him, and that's what he's looking for. And it's not up well, to me to to judge anything. So 
Yeah, well, he actually could. He couldn't even stand up on a skateboard like two and a half years ago, and now he's doing um, blunt to fakies. He's doing all sorts of crazy shit on a skateboard. Sick, man. Like, I, I, it's and awesome. That's, again, that's his his personality. His his mentality is like, I can't do it. I need to. I want to do that. So, yeah, he's spending his time. But he was out with us like um, on Saturday actually all day. Just it was like I think there was like ten ten skaters, and then. Fraser came out on his skateboard. He was cruising around with us all day, man. It was nice. It felt like the old days apart from he wasn't on rollerblades. <laughs> Come on, that's awesome. You know what? I guess you really, really need to start those vlogging things and put him back on skates. You'll get a lot of people <laughs> watching it. And if, if he gets like good feedback, it might even be the thing that he wants to get back on skates. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I, Just I think I, every now and then I'll see a little twi twinkle in his eye that it seems like he wants to get on the rollerblades. But we'll see. I'll, I'll keep. I'll keep feeding him these little. Maybe. Little maybe. Maybe. And hopefully. Maybe he needs a a, a shift. Pro model, maybe of of Alex Bernstein <laughs> yes. to to get back into skating. Is that going to happen? Oh, a lot <laughs> of people have asked me this, and I'm keen. Obviously, I'm up for that. Um, but yeah, I hope so. I hope so soon. Um, you know, I, I'll, I'm a believer in going with the flow and not, you know, not going against the grain. Um, okay. I think at the moment, Andy has some some ideas, some plans for the next skates or whatever. But I am going to, I'm going to ask him about that soon. Yeah, because like I said, a lot of people have asked me. A lot of people, are, there's demand for it, you know, and. I don't know if it was just because the color of the SL and people wanted it, but just people saying I'm waiting for the burst and S uh, the new ah, burst. They and want shift. the I'm, same color. Would you um, go for I the think, same color? Well, I don't know what I'd go for, um, but it just in general, people have been saying I'm waiting for the the burst and shift. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for your skate, Alex. And I'm like, when when's it coming? And well, yeah, and it's uh, I don't know. <laughs> Keep waiting. But we'll uh, <laughs> we'll we'll see. We'll see. I'll. Uh, see what i can do there let's Pull hope that bring let's <laughs> hope that bring fraser back on skating too so let's hope That'd it doesn't take too long <laughs> let's hope so let's hope so okay so talking about future there's something coming out that will not coming out there's something about to happen that will change your life forever you want to tell us a little bit about it yes yes um I'm going to be a dad very soon, very, very soon. Uh, How long from now? That, Do you have an idea? <laughs> she, she's meant, actually meant to be due on the 13th of, of May. Awesome. <laughs> so Laura, Laura is on the edge of popping and she so, just wants Alice out. She, we, we've, we've already got a name for her. She's called Alice, little girl. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, very blessed, very excited. I mean, I'm, I've only just started learning how to look after myself, so. Ah, I, I know what that is. You tell me. Mine is 11 months. And oh, it's wow. like, man, yeah. it, all I can tell you is what I'm sure everyone told you a million yeah. times already, which is your life will change forever. But like, it's the best thing. And I know that everyone might have told you that. So it's yeah. nothing new, well, but it, it is the truth. <laughs> Yeah, I've yeah I've been told that for sure, and uh, it already has changed for the better. Like it's it's already like grounded me. You know, I already feel like my head's screwed on my shoulders a lot more than it used to be. Um, you know, I've, I've got to take a lot more responsibility now of myself and of my surroundings and all this and that. Um, but yeah, man, I'm so excited. Um, you know what? Yeah, look, I'm gonna but, tell you about what i see happening it happened to me but i see it happening with a lot more people that type of responsibility will make you better at whatever you do if you choose to be a skater if that's what you want to be like connected to skating uh, working with the brand that puts you as a manager now but you might have more opportunity over there it's going to make you better because that responsibility that pressure that you you end up putting it for your to yourself it makes you better yeah. it doesn't matter What, being better, like we said already, being better just doesn't mean doing 180 more or 360 more into a trick. Being better, being better means a lot more. Being like responsible, being there when it's needed, being there when it's not needed, needed, but you create the need, you know, for brands or for whatever you want to do in life. It doesn't need to be just that. But I'm sure you're going to be a great dad. You will. There's no other Thank way. You. If you're good at skating, it's just 
man, you're winning in something. You just need to <laughs> translate it to live on that. That's yeah. part of your life and you're going to be the best. That's it. Hey, man, I can't wait. I'm just, I'm a big kid. I'm a really big kid. <laughs> ask, ask Laura. She, sometimes I'm, she really, I piss her off so much. But I just can't wait to go and play on the streets and in the park with a child without looking like a weirdo playing on my own <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's something wait. that i wish like you tell me i have no idea oh uh, is it in manchester man because that's one of the things i wouldn't say i regret but that's one of the things that i i would love to be different in south africa because i grew up in a small town man i grew up in a town that i would wake up at 7 30 I would watch my first cartoons, 8.30, I was out. I was the street kid, man. I was all the way. If there was no school, I was playing. I was stealing yeah. wood from the construction to build ramps. Since I was five or six, yes. I would be on a skateboard. I would be on whatever. I would be, I would be running around. I would be playing soccer against doors like if it was yeah. a goal. I, would be, I was the street <laughs> kid. I was able to do it. Now, of course, I have a girl, not a boy, but in South Africa... It's not safe for me to have my kid outside. And that's one of the things that it's killing me. And my question is, how is it in Manchester? Would it be safe for you to just have your kids out? Or I have no idea. Man. Yeah, man. Well, that, yeah, first I'd like to say that's pretty crazy how it's not safe for you. That's, that's pretty, that's, I didn't know. I mean, I know a little bit, but yeah. It's, it's kind of weird. It's quite deep. Like, yeah, it is. It is. It's like one of those things. It, it, it makes me think of one day maybe not too far from now, actually moving back or going somewhere where I can actually feel. Because yeah. my priority, like I might love skating, I might love what I do and whatever, but my priority is not me anymore. And that's what we were talking now. It's it's changing yeah. for you too. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, um, well, Manchester's good, man. Um, a lot of people, you know, say it's like rough and all that. It's It's not, man. You just got to know how to treat people or how to speak to the people that may approach you. But I can walk down, I'll be able to walk down the street with my little one, like, no problem. I can take her to the park. You know, like, you, there is probably certain places, well, there's obviously certain places that you yeah, wouldn't no. go. Of course. You know, but, but no, Manchester's good, man. Like, yeah, I could walk through the town centre and I could go for, to the woods and just do whatever I want. It's It's safe. It's pretty safe. Like we have it good. We have it good. Even though it's it rains a lot and the people can be quite moody. <laughs> yeah, that's that's one but, of the things that would kill me. And that's that's yeah. something that I, I don't know, man. It's like yeah, I have well, a lot of friends that moved from Portugal to England, like especially after two thousand and nine when the crisis like hit up, like really eat Portugal and a lot of people started moving. I I never yeah. moved because of it somehow, but. I always felt like I f it, this is, this might seem stupid and please don't get me wrong if you are in the no, UK. No. I somehow felt sorry <laughs> for them because I I grew up next to the ocean with in the sunniest country in Europe and see people people moving away from that to to to, to living, the rain to living under a cloud <laughs> all year long was just Fuck man and I, I, some of them are really good friends of mine and I have a lot of friends living yeah. in the UK like they were born there and everything. Don't get me wrong, it's just. I couldn't. I'm yeah. sorry, <laughs> mate. No, do you know what? Yeah, I fully, I, I agree with you, man. That's uh, it's probably a hard thing to watch. That that's one of the reasons I moved to Malaga for. A, and a that's bit. what I was I going actually, to ask you then. After that, yeah, yeah. Why are you back in in the in the UK? Why are you back in Manchester and not in Malaga? Have you ever thought about know. moving back? Um, yeah, I have. Like, but obviously, when after after the baby's born and everything, um, but. I, Manchester just kept calling me back home, man. I mean, I, I went to Malaga. I healed. I had my back problems, um, which was I'm not sure if it was sciatic or whatever. But either way, I healed. The sun healed me. I did. I did the right things there. And I think it was just time for me to come back. And yeah, it just kept calling. Manchester is calling, man. It's the motherland for me. <laughs> uh, but I, I, I do. I can see myself moving with Laura and the little and. To the sun, um, <laughs> yeah, just to the sun, or even traveling, even just traveling a bit more. Uh, mm. I'd like to give, I'd like to give Alice the, the the best life she can, and like the most open. You know, I don't. A lot of people around here where I live, are very close minded. You see people on rollerblades, and they they look at you like you're an alien, and you're like, <laughs> "Mate, it's 2018. I could be on a, you know, it's too, you know, 
fucking you know Oof. keep be re yeah it's crazy it's crazy i had a few but, dis i had a few fights on the way to work like my scooter was broken like a month ago and i was yeah. i used to still i still come now even with the without a broken scooter but for that month i came every single day i skated to work it's like five or ten seven kilometers something like that every nice. like for three or four days in a row i found the same old woman because i was coming at the same time <laughs> And the same old woman, like always, like buzzing her car. And the th the the third day, man, I really freaked out. I went to that window, like with an open like hand, and I made a noise with my hand on that window, like, "Hey, this is my way of moving. I'm not doing yeah. anything illegal here. If you don't like it, well, yeah. you're more than welcome to stop the car and just wait for me to do it because I'm not gonna stop doing it. I need to get to work. This is my way of moving. So like it or not, sorry, deal with yeah. it." people just, get issues oh. dude but i guess you, our <laughs> attitude is everything our attitude like the way you deal with those like sometimes yeah. you know that when you see the kid in the skate park being bullied it doesn't matter what sport he's doing the kid being bullied and putting his head down it's seriously the worst thing i'm not telling the kid to fight everyone but it's your yeah. attitude show them what show something like you're enjoying even a smile is better like they're making fun of you you smile at them like <laughs> i don't know what's yeah. wrong here and then you you right. you're enjoying something you know sometimes that's more frustrating than anything else i guess attitude i keep saying the same attitude is everything so yeah for sure what what we don't get taught at a young age is that we ourselves as a as a solo person we have the power in us to change any situation you know i've been i, I live in manchester so i get approached by crazy Fucking, I might not gonna pinch and take this with a pinch of salt. Fucking idiots will approach me and try and give me, try and start fights or whatever. But you know, I'll mm -hmm. smile and I'll speak to them. I'll I'll turn it around mm -hmm. and by the end of it, they're they're talking to me about skating and they're having <laughs> to tell me about their life story. I so know. we have the power. We have the power within us to to, I guess to mold in... any situation to how how we want. You know, it's how we how we react. React every action as a equal and opposite reaction or something like that. <laughs> so yeah. I guess, like, I in that, you're a little bit like me. I'm going to make you another question that has nothing to do with, with what I was going to ask you next, but have you ever been yeah, robbed? Right. Have you ever been robbed? <laughs> Once, but that was my own fault. Um, I'm not going to say too much about it. Um, but I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Okay. Um, and uh, this was when I was really young, actually. Um, okay, let's like, say it was in that area of the nose, so we... <laughs> yeah yeah it was in, it was in the naughty times and uh yeah i was in the wrong place at the wrong time and uh some guys took some stuff off me <laughs> but it was funny actually actually i was i was no i was only actually i was only i was like 12 I, I was going to california a week after uh, after this happened and i i just i just getting a cast off i was on my way to the hospital uh <laughs> to get um, a pin taken out of my arm. So as these guys were robbing me, punching me in my face, I had my arm up in the air, like, no, no, I'm going, kind of, it's not worth it. You know, I wasn't <laughs> fighting back because I was like, in my head, I was like, if I fight back here and they put my arm up, I'm not going California. <laughs> so I was like, I had my arm up in the air, like getting hit, getting punched in the face, getting punched in the face. And then, yeah, they took my shit off me. And, and, then, and then I just walked, went to the hospital, a bloody nose and was like hey I'm going to California next week these guys are still these, this guy's probably going to prison in the next, next week do you know what I mean so but apart from that no no people have, other people have tried and no one's ever got as far as that time so. yeah the reason why I made that question is because I, I see you like me when it comes to that it's like you talk to people man like someone would come like the kids Man, I live in a place like we said, like I said before, it's some, it can be dangerous. But you'll see the kids coming to you or you see like adults. It's the way that you act with them. Like, man, just like you said, they come to you and you end up talking about skating or whatever. And we can actually yeah, man. come out of these type of situations. But my question next would be like, because you were saying that you would love to travel. Do you, yeah. what you do for a living now, it's mainly related to skating. Do you need to be somewhere specific To, mm. Or you can be whatever you want, wherever you want in the world at the moment. Obviously, f I uh, can, yeah. If you're gonna travel or something, moment, it's gonna be yeah. expensive. But yeah, I mean, yeah. At the moment, I could be wherever I want in the world. I guess as long as I had a computer, a phone, the internet, and my rollerblades, 
That's then awesome. uh, you know, then I can be anywhere because I could I could stay in contact with the with the world, and I could know when competitions or events are on, and then I can do my multimedia, multi online media, like whatever, blah blah blah. So yeah, I could be. That's what helped me move to Malaga. If you know, if I didn't have that, I couldn't have survived in Malaga. Mm. That's awesome. Um, That's basically like me. That's why I was asking because it's. It, I'm trying to get some motivation here for people out there that think that. Because a lot of people, I don't know if you saw a video that I made. Yeah, you did saw because even you got back to me. You sent me a message yeah. about it. Like when people go like really negative about what we do, and yes, we all know it's not the same as it was in '98, but it's up yeah. to us. I keep saying the same. It's up to us to change it. And like, I'm trying to give like a positive example by you saying that what you do right now you can actually do whatever you want to be in the world obviously you yeah. you might not be as much paid as if you would be like a, the guy that just won the x games last week as an example yeah but yeah, there's opportunity to grow there is definitely opportunity to grow and like you were saying before the more kind of the more you do do stuff you know the more you get in the more people seeing it and blah blah, you know, it's it, yeah, it all works out. But yeah, like like you said about the um, the money thing. Like to me, time is a million times more important than money. Yeah, I don't get that. I don't get as much money as as Gary working in the office. You know what I mean? Yes. I don't know who Gary is? You know, Gary. Gary sacrifices his time nine but gary is robbed man when gary comes out gary is robbed <laughs> yeah he's robbed you know he's, he's got his nine nine to five in an office he's he's sacrificing all of his time for a lot, a lot more money than what i would get right now but i would way prefer to have my time than, not, than any of that money you know that's way more important i can wake up when i want yeah but even, even that, but yeah. even if even if, because that's kind of like what I see when I see you talking right now, I see myself and it's actually the okay. same. But what you do, that doesn't mean that you're going to wake up at the time that you want for the rest of your life. And that what no, I'm trying I to know. say here is like, if you keep doing what you're doing and if you're going to keep growing in what you do, there will be the time that you will be working 20 hours a day. But the good thing, because that's what I see myself right now. Because for me to do all these things that I'm doing with you right now, or for me to do the videos, I'm not getting paid by any company. I do it because I want to do it. But at the same time, yeah. it puts me, it, it puts that smile on my face that, like you said, Gary will never have it in the office. So yeah. he might work from nine <laughs> to Gary. five. Yeah, he might work from <laughs> nine to five. But yeah. even if I work from four in the morning to 12, I got the smile on my face because I'm doing what I love to and what I choose to do. And you're doing it when you choose, when you want. Yes, you know? exactly. I don't need to exactly. do it from 4 to 12. <laughs> you know, yeah, there's no, like, that's, that's for me, that is one of the big, I've had loads of horrible jobs, you know. I was a bin man, which people might already know, and worked in shops and done laboring, and you have to be there at a certain time. And, man, I don't like that. I don't like to be told when I have to be set <laughs> in a certain place at a certain time. The freedom is so important, but I do have a lot of respect uh, for people that do that, man, because it's hard, man. It's not easy, you know. Of course, I'm not, like, I'm not, man, I'm the last one to be able to say anything to anyone who works from nine to five. I, I, never. <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not up to me. What I'm trying to say here is that there is opportunity out there. For people yes. who wants to be related to this, that's what I keep saying. Just don't, yeah. don't say it's that. Don't, man. It's not. It's it's here. It's up to you. Hey, Start man. your own thing. Pull it up. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. There's opportunities everywhere. All you gotta do, you know, where there's a will, there's a way. And yes. If you, yeah, you know, that's it. But um, and it's it's never dead as long as there's a only if there's one person doing it, it's still alive. Yeah, you know I guess it's that's true. I, I guess it's it. true. It is true. But that, but yeah, that's that's. I guess that's kind of extreme, <laughs> the extreme <laughs> of it. But but yeah, man, yeah, it's um, it's crazy. It's a crazy world. And now with we're what we're talking about, there was someone that made one of these questions that might be cool for it, for me to ask you. Where do you see skating okay. in five years from now? Yeah. Um, I'm sure I'd that like, you see yourself with a girl <laughs> skating. Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. Do a little Alice on some roller, but if she wants to, she might not like it, but I'm sure she will because mum and dad skate, so she'll be looking up to us. Um, but uh, I see it. 
the law of nature says that everything goes around, what goes around comes around, I guess. So, so I, I don't know, man. I, I do see it slightly coming back up, you know, in, in little ways, like you're saying, different ways. It's not the same. It won't be the same as it was. But in in its own way, it's, I, it seems to be coming back up. So I'd like to think that in five years' time, it'd be kind of similar to it is now, but just with more opportunities for more people, you know, like... Mm-hmm. So the, all these people that are doing this crazy shit, doing like life-threatening, technical, flipping, just absolutely amazing. Like, you know, you, you see these videos, people are, uh, humans are amazing or whatever. Like, that's what we are, man. We're doing amazing stuff and it'd be nice to see more opportunities for people doing that to arise so people can mm-hmm. just, you know, like you say, not be rich. Well, mentally rich like like myself i'm mentally the richest person i know <laughs> yeah, that's all you need well, man. that's all you need if you are you need, if you, you are if you are in a good mood things happen to you i said it more than once and i keep saying it to everyone if, yeah man and if, that's if you if you need to choose something there's two things like man you were 15 there were two girls in front of you there was the <laughs> the happy one that you could have fun, you could go out, whatever you could enjoy. And there was the other one that was always crying. Man, there's, yeah. no, there's, there's no way. You could never go to the crying one. It's just not, no, man. It's Well, <laughs> if, if you, if you want to get deep into it, then I'd be like, right, both of you sit down. All right, we need to, you, why are you upset? Let's make you happy. <laughs> you wanted both, man. <laughs> I, I want to make everyone happy. I want to make everyone happy. That's probably one of my... I struggle a lot actually when I sometimes you have family issues and people get sad and I'm like why isn't everybody happy I just want everyone to be happy <laughs> but it's not it's not the way but um yeah you know it's I guess that's some of the reasons why I'm where I am because I'm a gobshite I, I'm quite happy most of the time when if when I'm not happy you won't see me because I'll embrace that I am down or I'm sad and I'll take a, a day or two out but you know I'm I talk a lot I'm, I'm there. I, I, know, I talk shit, like shit, truthful shit. But like, you know, I'm, you know, I'm, that's it. Positive attitude. Like, what, what's the word? Positive. Positive energy activates constant elevation. You know, you you you're positive. You you're getting higher. You know, you you're growing with yes, this positivity. Yes, 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 yes. When you when you bring the negativity in, you let that seep into you into yeah, your soul. You, that's you'll when start you start shrinking. People you'll start seeing people getting away from you and all that. And that's one of my next questions too. We started yeah, speaking man. positive things. We went negative, not tricks. You were really <laughs> close to Quinton Newsom, right? I was, yeah. Um, well, I wouldn't say really close, but he was a good friend. And uh, yeah, we spent, we had, <laughs> we had some good times together. Some which I can remember and some which I can't from the party times. <laughs> 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 but yeah, Keaton, yeah, he was a good friend, man. Um, bless him, bless his soul. Um, yeah, it's um, it's crazy times when I heard that, man. It's weird. It's weird because from I'm I've been trying to understand if he ever. It seems like he never reached anyone. You know, like he tried to do his own thing. Is yeah. Well, I didn't. I didn't know too much about him. Person is like complete. You know. Is the mental? I knew he was he was on medication. He told me he suffered from anxiety and stuff like this. And um, but yeah, I, yeah, I never. I actually tried to contact him a couple of times, you know, regarding ground control and just tours and whatever. And you know, he never he never got back to me. And I, I, was I knew he still that in he charge? wasn't. It wasn't was, was he still in charge of ground control back then? Um, I, I I think so but i'm not completely sure because like i said there wasn't much communication towards the end um but yeah fuck it love you gear man That's, yeah man it's pretty sad anyway i've actually i've actually watched um three three lives um go from this earth in the space of the nine months that alice has been growing inside laura's belly <laughs> um, which is which is very which is quite crazy if you think about it like that you know but yeah yeah mad mad life life is a, is a mystery yeah, man. what's the saying I'm gonna I'm gonna give you another quote what's the quote hold on oh, wait, just give me a second yeah, my yes. dog my dog is here with me in the office and is just going mad come here hey Deco. up the dogger what's the dog called Deco 
Hey, up and Daco. Can you hear me? <laughs> no, wait. We can put the headphones. <laughs> <laughs> Daco. Ah, it's all good. She's Chill out. Here. She's just chilling. Nice. nice. All good. Well, yeah, I was going to say, I was going to say, yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, today is a gift, that's why it's called the present. That's awesome. That's and I learned cool. that, I learned that from Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> are you what, wait did you hear that about from Kung Fu, Kung Fu Panda like 15 years ago or have you been watching Kung Fu, Kung Fu Panda for <laughs> when you got it well I learned it when it first came out but I still love I love all them cartoons man I love all that stuff I'm a big kid like I said so but yeah so that's you, it, that's you're gonna I have like. a really good time now yeah I can't wait man I can't wait I cannot wait. She's she's ready. She's gonna come. She's got the best best parents to play with. Like I said, I'm a big kid, so she's gonna have a big friend to play with. <laughs> no, you're gonna need to push. You're gonna need to push Andy to make kids skates. I don't know. Yeah, uh, yeah. You need to to somehow do something over there. Well, they've got the they have got the little the little Jenny Genesis skates. Haven't no, they? the but, Genesis. Uh, but how big are those? I don't know. I yeah, think they maybe, start like on maybe thirty-five. Maybe you're gonna need yeah, something like need tiny, some tiny, smaller. tiny, tiny, tiny. I was trying to 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 speak with John Julio about it too. The last time I made the um, skate talk with John Julio about them, we were talking yeah. about like it's needed. We really need more of these, like not just the aggressive yeah. skate, but like entry level skate, like your <laughs> like your Sonic price, the Hedgehog. <laughs> the Sonic the Hedgehog ones are the Fisher Price ones. Yeah, 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 exactly, man, exactly. We need more of that. Um, yeah, for sure. Get okay. the kids hyped. So, Alex, before we finish this, just straight to the point. Who's your favorite skater at the moment? Oh, well, that's quite a hard one. Who, who, who? Uh, I really enjoy skating and watching Yo Zenk, Joe Zenk. Okay. Um, but a lot, I don't know, it's hard. It's hard, actually. I, I like, I, a lot of my favorite skaters are the people I skate with. So I guess, like you'd say, like Matty Vella, um, young young Manchester lad, smashing it at the moment. Well, he always he's always smashing it. Just got the besties. Um, uh, oh, it's a hard one, man. It's who else is there that that's stuck into my mind? Um, I'm really bad because I'm quite forgetful of the names. I'm really <laughs> bad with I'm really bad with names, but I know a lot. Yeah, a lot of people. I've been smashing it. Obviously, like, oh, I don't know. Oh, been what? Uh, 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 man, you put me on the spot there. Man, I don't know. You've been, you've been going <laughs> a yeah, lot from, to Spain. I, I don't know. Like, did what about any of those guys from Barcelona? I don't know. Was there anyone out there that whoa. really made you like? Yes. Well, Josh. I don't know from Malaga. Like living in Malaga with him. I don't know. Someone. That really got you like, no way. I got that every day, so I don't, I don't know. I, I yeah, say to everyone, yeah, you're I, the best, you're the best, you're the best. So just <laughs> yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm, I'm, just, I'm similar as well. If, if they've got good vibes and, the, and I see their motivation levels are, and, like, you know, they're happy, whatever, then yeah, but yeah, it's a... Uh, so you have a lot of best, it, it's all good. <laughs> a lot of best, yeah. But like I said, I like to, I, I just enjoy skating with the people i skate with they're my favorite you know like that's cool if you're there if you're there at the time you're my favorite dude skater. i want to be there then. <laughs> <laughs> yes i want to be someone's favorite yes we'll have to and, soon, and the thing is sure. and what about big wheels i know that you've been skating them too someone was asking what do you like the most because i know that ground control is now making 110s and 125s uh, yes. you were skating also on the bigs right from those what do you think of this old big thing big wheel thing or from those I big wheels, it. what do you think is really big wheels? Do you call 72 big wheels or 80s, like Ground I, Control also made? I don't know. Man. Uh, I would say big wheels are like, yeah, like the big wheels. Not, you know, you can't grind on big wheels. That's okay. what I would say. Okay. I, I would say like, yeah, from like 80s, the eight, 82s, I think is the... I'm re again, it's like names. I'm bad with numbers and names. No, it's from it's from <laughs> the 80s. I think it's 80s. It's the, the 80s. The ground yeah, control is 80. The frame 80, like the aluminium frame. Yeah, that that's that's it exactly. That's that's when I would say that's a big wheel and that's the big wheel skating. But man, I I love it. It's just 
I, I'm literally on my big on my one two fives every day. If I'm going to the shop, I just stick my skates on. And the Stockport, my town in Manchester, is there's hills everywhere. So That's awesome. You, you, it's the best so i i just love it i love it all man it's amazing like yeah it's the best it's just it's all skating you do, know? do you use a the same boots or like with the shifts do you like i'm asking this like in a do you use the same boots and you actually change the sole plate or you have different boots because man um, i know that i could change the frame from all my skates but i'm not that i'm lazy i, I can <laughs> i guess you can too you can have more than one pair of skates and it's just easy for me because depending on what yeah. i'm gonna get i like one boot better or i like one liner better and i end up having way too many skates but yeah um it depends uh, if i'm I have, I've got my Cosmos just ready, ready to put on my feet, just if I want to go to the shop. But if I'm going, if I'm going street skating or going to a park or whatever, then yeah, then I'll just take, I'll take my grinding, you know, my the mega frames off, and I'll stick my my big wheels on, and then skate to the spot, and then change. But usually, if it's just, if I know I'm going out just for a cruise, then I'll just stick my Cosmos on. That's and, and uh, you skate yeah. megas. You skate the megas. You skate sixty. What size wheels do you skate? Sixty fives. Yeah, at the moment. Um, and I'm now actually, I'm on the sixties on the megas. Um, okay. Which is quite nice. I was at first skating the sixty fours. Oh, the the nils. I have a chain. Yeah, I was skating the nils, but I go back and forward. But like I say, at the moment, I'm on the mega. I'm enjoying, really enjoying the sixties on the mega. Uh, before that, yeah, I was on the. No, before that, I was on the the Feverlight, the Feverlight threes with uh, my sixties with an anti rocker setup. Mm -hmm. So it depends how I feel, but yeah, for the last the last Oof. couple of months, I've the been last on the times 60s. I tried to skate anti rocker, <laughs> it just doesn't it's, go. It's man. They don't man. Turn. I know, I, but it's just I was used <laughs> to it. I used to skate them every day. The la but yeah, I've been same. I've been trying to to shit with with be free because i'm playing this game of skate with be free and like every time it does tricks with top sides i try to be lazy so i put my anti-rocker frame with small wheels like with 55s <laughs> just to try to shit on it like but I, it doesn't <laughs> work man I'm st i still don't get the trick so i i think i'm just gonna embrace it and just use the same frame the whole time god yeah, well, <laughs> yeah i i used to i used to have the idea that Oh, maybe if I go to a, a, a ledge spot, then I'll change. I'll change to anti rock the book. Uh, it doesn't work. Now I'm, <laughs> no, it doesn't. You just got. You just once you're used to a certain like yeah. thing. And I, I think skating with flat setup does. It, it just makes you skating more precise. You know, makes it more. Yeah, you know. And then in the you end, know. you you think of what I keep thinking. Like, of course, if I'm playing this game, I try to do the trick. But in the end, on the daily basis, and I used to be the one trying. I want to learn that trick, and I go and I try, try, try it until I get it. Nowadays, I re I really don't care if that makes sense. It's just like I do it. If I can do it, I'm happy. If I don't, well, I'll try it a few more yeah. times. But I, it's it's a different way of seeing skating. But I'm obviously not 15 or 17 anymore. So <laughs> I, I respect yeah. that, and I think we need it. We need like. We need guys like trying those tricks. Like we need guys like um, <laughs> Roman doing all that crazy stuff that you'll never be able to do that first try. It's just impossible. But it's yeah, it's a different type of skating. There all these types of skating are needed. Yeah, definitely for sure, man. Like each each level of it is is appreciated in some way, whether it's by just yourself having fun or the other. You know, it, it's it's all skating as long as we're having fun as as ourselves then that's all that matters really okay Sick. That's what so I let's think. conclude this let's conclude this so we need someone who's watching this who can get sonic the hedgehog in size european 42 or uk8 for some true spin topsails and negative tricks uh, that's yes, challenge please. number one <laughs> then no, the challenge negative. number two goes to andy <laughs> wagner challenge number two is we need a shift alex bernstein pro skate so that we can get Fraser Watson <laughs> on skates again, and I guess oh, that's it. <laughs> I think you know. I think the hardest, the hardest challenge is getting Fraser on the skates again. We might have no, to no, no, no! Come on, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a challenge. Come on, Fraser! I, I can't. I can't. Uh, seriously, I can't even true tops, true top porn. Just do one. Just do one for me. Just go out and do one for me. If you do it, you I, I promise you. Is a if he does yeah, it, I'll go and I promise you, I'll try it until I, I get it. But I never did it. I just suck at that trick too bad but if it does it i'll do it if it does it i'll do it right so i'm gonna I, i'm showing him this i'm gonna listen to this and get yeah. on it fraser he is amazing man it's just like for those 
listening to this, you don't know what I'm talking about. Well, you might have started skating like two or three years ago because if you started before, I'm sure that you know this guy. He basically yeah. one of the biggest gap two rails ever with one of the craziest tricks ever. So you need to see yeah. it. It's called San Dieguito. It's a double set with a huge rail, like a huge gap to a long rail. The first one who did it yeah. was, I think it was Santiago Asprua. The first one who did the gap was Dustin Latimer in the Transcend video, if I'm not wrong. Right. Something like that. Yeah. So that's it. We're done. <laughs> All right. You're good All to right, go. brother. Man, good luck with everything. And yeah, thank you. Next time I speak to you, there'll be a little baby. That's <laughs> so, awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Nice one. We might so, have yeah, the two nice. little babies playing together. <laughs> oh, mate, for sure. I can't wait, man. I That'll can't wait. Awesome. Yeah, man. Thank you for your, Thank you for talking to me, mate. It's no. been lovely. No, thank you so much for spending your uh, time with this. Good luck with Laura and good luck with everything in life. Huh? Thank you stay very much. Positive. Shout out to, Always. <laughs> yes, stay positive. Shout out to everyone. Everyone who skates, everyone who doesn't skate, everyone, I love you all. Stay positive, like Ricardo said. Keep doing your thing. I love you all. Thanks, Alex. <laughs> Speak to you soon. Bye. Yes, Cheers, Ricardo. Man. Speak soon, brother. Peace. Cheers. And that was it. Awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this skate talk as much as I did. I really did. It's just, I got a smile on my face. I think my dog, Deco, which is here on my side, it's even smiling to me. So <laughs> I think I'm going to go out to the dog and enjoy the rest of the day see you guys on the next one if you guys enjoyed this one do not forget to give me some thumbs up if you're not subscribing to the channel now might be the right time to do it and like i always say just don't forget why we all started skating because it's fun cheers guys we'll be there, like that